why are we talking about this again? Hogwarts Legacy, for those of you guys that don't know, just like all that controversy between Stray, an indie game, not even a AAA game, an indie game about a goddamn cat with beautiful graphics that can't even fucking jump, surpassing Elden Ring in its first week of release with the sales, the sales are better than Elden Ring, and it's gonna be game of the year. Elden Ring won game of the year, by the way. I don't even give a fuck because all the games that I want to be game of the year aren't even considered for game of the year because they're all RPGs. Nobody gives a fuck about RPGs, so fuck the game awards anyway. But for all the rest of the fucking people, people were all up in that outrage and shit like, oh, if the Elden Ring doesn't win game of the year, we fucking riot. But the fuck that fucking Stray almost fucking won that shit. Oh, God damn, you guys are struggling, wasn't well, shit? Anyway. We gotta have another conversation with Elden Ring being the best and all this other bullshit. A game that came out last year. Why are we still stuck on last year? Let's focus on this year. Let's talk about the next Elden Ring. Let's talk about the next game that's gonna be talked about. No, we're gonna still compare everything to a game that came out last fucking year. Elden Ring. So we're talking about Elden Ring again because Hogwarts Legacy. God damn, guys! First week! Already, not only surpassed Elden Ring, and so is this first week, it's a pass to Stray, and so is in this first week, so it's now the most selling game or some shit. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? I don't care about Hogwarts Legacy trying to be game of the fucking year. I get the feeling that people are trying to make this game game of the year, just like the fucking Stray. Oh, uh, we got a new Elder Ring, so we got Elder Ring's got competition now. How does Elder Ring have competition? It already won Game of the Year. It's considered the best game of 2022. I fucking disagree, but according to the world, oh, it's best game of the fucking year of 2022. That's last year's news. Let's focus on this year, bro. Hogwarts Legacy. The only reason why this game even has sales as it does because all these fucking haters and fucking... A lot of people don't even know what's going on with the goddamn game. For those of you guys that don't fucking know, there's a lot of people raging right now because they're pissed off that people bought the fucking game. They're pissed off that people's making videos and streaming and shit. They're pissed off that people keep playing this fucking game because J.K. Rowling is a homophobic bitch. And if we buy the fucking game, then we're supporting J.K. Rowling because she gets a portion of the sales from anything Harry Potter related. Listen, I bought this goddamn game because I love Harry fucking Potter. I don't give a fuck what the author did. I don't care if she fucking sucked the cock or did all this other I don't care if she killed a bunch of people. I'm still gonna play Harry Potter, bro. That doesn't make me a fucking bigger ego of that bullshit. I don't care, but guess what? Because you guys would make a big deal about this bullshit. Guess what? Harry Potter's Hogwarts Legacy, this may be your game of 20 fucking 23. Because everybody's buying this game just to say fuck you. Congratulations. You made this game that shouldn't be talked about. A game that has all these fucking issues. Stuttering, lag, all this bullshit. But when the game fucking works, oh my god, this game fucking slaps. Just like Elder Ring can listen to me. Oh, look at that shit. You can run around and fucking fight shit and dress up your character. Oh my god, the game is so good. How do you know, Fang? I thought you quit the game. Well, shout out to my goddamn friend, John. John helped me fix my goddamn game. He came over here and he fixed all the stuttering and all the lag and all that bullshit I was dealing with. He gave me the right sounds for my goddamn PC. He did download us some mods that fixed all the graphics in the game. The graphics look so much better. And he actually gave me a mod that fixed all those goddamn ugly cats in the goddamn game, guys. Those cats look fucking horrendous. He made my cats look like fucking demon beasts. I'm gonna show you in this video. The cats look like fucking huge as shit. Like, goddamn, bro. What are you doing with those goddamn cats? And apparently, he modded the wand that I'm gonna get. I haven't got the wand yet, but whatever. We're gonna get to that when we get to this video. But anyway, this intro is too long. Talk about all this bullshit. So, guys, get ready to get supercharged into episode two of Fan Place Hot Wars Legacy. So let's get into this shit. We back in here! Let's go! All right, we're back in here, guys. So, as you can see, I got four different characters. Now, the purpose of having four different characters for me anyway is I want to see what the story would be like when you uh, play with a character that's in all the different houses. So we got Caroline and Slytherin. I made myself here for Hufflepuff. 
Um, Jessica's in Ravenclaw, and then Lena, she's in Gryffindor. So I got my four characters in four different houses. Yes, the gameplay is not shared. So everything is all separate. I had to do the tutorial three different times. So everything is all separate. What I do on one character does not affect the other character. So what I'm going to do is just make all four of my characters kind of different in their skill sets. They're in different houses that affects like the different dialogue between some of the NPCs. As far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much the only difference is to see more different dialogue with people from Ravenclaw, if you wasn't in Ravenclaw. But anyway, um, uh, I'm, more, I'm a higher level with Jessica because so far with Lena, Caroline, and myself, I just had them do all the main story quests up until what you last saw me do. So we was on our way to Hosby before I got pissed off and I ended the shit. So that's where all of my characters are, all four of them. But Jessica, I've been spending the most time with because I've been doing a lot of shit, like running around. There's so much to do. So many side quests, so many like different side shit to do. We're gonna load into Jessica here. I've done so much shit with Jessica, she leveled up like a lot. <laughs> so that's why the other ones are still at level three because Jessica, you level up by doing side quests. So I've done almost just about everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this episode with Jessica because I want to get the furthest with her, and then off camera and I'll level up my other three characters. So, but y'all let me know if you want to see my other characters. Um, I, I just want to do this with Jessica because I have the most shit on my hero level. So yeah. And like I can say you haven't missed anything. I mean you missed a side quest obviously because there's a lot What's of it. What you up to now? But we're basically where we last left off. I gotta go all the way up to. Uh, um, uh, to Hosme. Now, instead of Natty, I made uh, two of my characters pick Natty, and then I think Jessica is with uh, Sebastian, so it's gonna be Sebastian instead of Natty. I just gotta figure out how to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I ran around this whole bit like, for fucking hours, dude. Can we actually, uh, this game does have a very helpful. Thing, it actually lets you, uh... One thing that I like that I wish other games did. If you go to my gear... Mind you, I have not been outside of Hot Wars, by the way. I haven't... I've done all this. All this you can do at the beginning of the fucking game. I already got, like, legendary gear. I found a lot... I've maxed out my inventory, like, two times. But I already have a lot of shit. But let's say... Uh, let me see. Let's say I don't want these glasses, right? Because my inventory is about to get full. As you can see, I don't got a lot of slots left. So if I was to take this and destroy it, so I, anything that I get rid of, I can still have the cosmetic effect. So I can wear anything that I want. Even though you trash all your gear, you can wear whatever the fuck you want. So I do like that I am able to equip whatever I want. So this is all gear I got rid of. So it's... I do like the level of customization, so. so that's one thing that Hogwarts does do pretty fucking well. And the side quests are made easy, because all you need to do is just follow this little butterfly thing, and it tells you exactly where to go. Also have a lot of gold. I did a side quest that gave me 10,000 gold, so that should help me buy you can't whatever I need to buy. How inconvenient. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually loving the game so far. This game is not fucking trash. It's fucking good. Once you get past all the goddamn dialogue. <laughs> okay, so Sebastian should be waiting for us at the front. Now, to somebody else, I mean, this may feel like, you know, like an Elder Ring or something like that. To me, this feels like more like Elder Scrolls, almost. The way you're gearing all that shit works. I haven't unlocked a lot of shit, but... I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm addicted to the fucking game now. So, again, I, I appreciate you for helping me uh, fix my game and fixing all the stuttering, because I, I, I am glad that I'm able to finally play the game. Okay, where am I going? I almost lost, I lost that butterfly. But the fact that I was able to like level up all the way to level 8, <laughs> and I haven't even left Hogwarts left just from fucking exploring, like, that's a lot of shit. Huh. 
Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Yes, sir. Is this your first foray into the village? Correct. It is. I haven't left the castle since I oh, arrived. Be than well, Natty. I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides. Then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place, self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. I shall we? It. That's the only thing that sucks though is because um, all four characters are different. I have to do everything three, four, five, I have to do everything four times. Every quest four times. I have to do all the dialogue four times. But I get to see how the dialogue is different. So. But you'll probably see me do most of this game with Jessica here because I, I, I just like, I like me the Ravenclaw story. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to Speaking getting to the front Weasley, where I can build my character. She seems character to have palace. taken quite a shine to you. Because there's lots of people like That's building nice the characters, you. like, you know, I'm you can still do the dark arts, that a professor would trust me with anything. Given now, my see, Daddy, record. she was trying to tell me, she pointed me in that Spend direction, so this guy's walking to point A to point B. That's why I like you, Just Sebastian. enough to keep me well-rounded. He's getting right to the fucking point. Because now these bitch ass is trying to look at him Speaking with that fire shit. this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved Kiyoka, me from shut one. the fuck up! Glad I could be of service. Kiyoka! Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me. As is often the case. Now put this fucking shit Professor on fucking Weasley you. came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Sorry, Sebastian, I can hear what you're saying because I fucking Kiyoka. So Kiyoka. how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well... I suspect it's a matter of oh, differing yes, opinions. Down, bro. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and right. I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. What you got? This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Got it. Alright, sick with you, Sebastian. Now, see, you can turn this to my last forest. episode, the look. game looks a lot prettier, right? What's going on? The game's a lot more colorful. See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Dude, the fact that people are already bought at this fucking game is fucking crazy. The God, they haven't even been up for it that long. Likely already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Happy? Hence the name. Precisely. This is what I've been waiting on dangerous. to get to the fucking open world. I think so they I need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, I'm sorry, they never were just past those rooms I've been there for fucking hours. Like, I don't see how these kids go to school and not get lost. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? Yes! A little. It's positively it enormous. It's enormous, bro! It I'm is not that. joking, it's enormous! I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places Dude, to discover. That, that, that exploration oh, of Hogwarts like might as well have been a whole fucking episode. Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I, you want me to tell you my secret? I am. I've changed my dialogue up with all my characters, so I may like piss off somebody well, and then not piss off somebody else. Well, I suppose most people don't actually else. see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately, like with Caroline Walker, you've seen quite I may a bit yourself like first time too. Go into Most the notably, that dragon attack. And I may make Jessica Hopefully, the rest of your year so. isn't as eventful. I'm changing up my gameplay. See all different sides of the game all at once, and it helps that I'm doing everything on Jessica as my main Mr. because then I go to the other He's characters. He's the Hogwarts like caretaker. Just, like, Looks a bit worse for wear. That, that Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you that? might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Why? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes oh, big as saucers. Oh, you fight? What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. All right, we're going to keep on going. I need to get the halls, mate. 
I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. Yeah, we're good. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a Can state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit okay, as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, gotcha. but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Pause me, we made it! Oh yeah, I need to see what he put in here. He did Honestly, mild my wand. If one could bottle the so magic. So it's not gonna be a wand, it's gonna be something else. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. There's the, there, there's the mod for the cats, guys. Look at that fucking mod! That's a fucking so demon cat! So how would you cat. like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits? Yes. yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. Yep. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. All right, thank you. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Right. Hogsmeade Village is room of different sites, shops, and other points of interest. Copy that. Damn, that's a lot of shit. Um, uh, yeah, this is where we go for the wine. That should be the main focus. Let's look at this cat, guys. Look at this demon cat. That's that mod. God damn! <laughs> no, that cat's a lot better than the fucking normal cats in the game. You gotta mod the fucking game for shit like this. Look at that fucking cat, bro. The cat will fuck you up. <laughs> Alright, let's get her one. Merlin's blooming beard. Not a gem. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. All right, take your time. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Yeah. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Okay. Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Okay. Well, go ahead, swish. Uh. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Woo! Oh, dear. Uh. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No. <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. It's okay. No, I not you. you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's yeah. give this one a try. Let's try this one. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Uh, Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Okay, I don't think I can trust. Dude, can I go to somebody to be else? Trickier than I had anticipated. Bro, just I'll give me a fucking wand, man. Bro. Where Bust are you? Shit. Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. This better be the wand. Third time's charm. Yes, I think you might Jessica, be the one. Jessica, I need to say something. This is bullshit. Here, take it. Is this really the one? Okay. A 
know, we can actually like, oh shit. Curious indeed. We actually have a wand type? What the? Okay. How intriguing. Can I go with, uh, what type? Curious indeed. Damn, I'm not trying to sit here and look at all this shit. How intriguing. I can't even see the changes. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. I mean, I guess go with that. Can I change it later? What do you think? It's an ugly looking wand. I'll take it though, I guess. Extraordinary. It works well. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> we got our wand. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Okay. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Appreciate it, sir. So we got ourselves a new wand. Let's freaking go. Okay, we need to visit all that shit right there. I'm not gonna pretend like I know where all that crap is. Just look around. <laughs> One thing I do enjoy about the game though is they do put in a lot of like secret stuff. Like I've had an owl transport me to like a whole different location and shit. Like it's fucking it's a lot of stuff to do in here. So I'll say they've captured the whole uh, Harry Potter aspect pretty damn well. <laughs> Jessica, I'm sorry. Okay, that's where I just came from. Is it gonna be possible to find all this stuff without mapping it? Because I feel like I can go anywhere. Okay, here's the potion shop. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Sir, J. Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. Get some potions. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. Okay. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? Yeah. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Uh, can you give me my class? 
Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Oh, wait or a minute. Come yeah. back another time if you're in a rush time. today. Um, uh, increases my spell damage. Okay, I do want this invisible though. And that's a thousand two hundred, so we need to save my money. I'm just kind of buy one of everything for now. So I can kind of at least experiment. Then he's got ready made. Okay, we'll skip all that for now. And got the money for it, bro. Got a lot of stuff. Okay, let's see where we're going next. Can you bring up the map? Man, you bring up the map. Okay, so we are going. Uh, that was the Popish Potion Shop. Where's the. Where am I supposed to go, Brad? Okay, I don't... Where, is this... Where the fuck am I supposed to go, dude? Okay, Tones and Scrolls. Tones and Scrolls, where is that at? Okay, Tones and Scrolls is right here. I mean, got all these goddamn locations like I'm supposed to know where the hell to go. It's like gave me a freaking thing that tells me where to go. An inquiring mind. What's going on, Thomas? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. Nice to meet you, I sir. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting that. table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? I will take all the stuff that was suggested. If you're interested, Bruh, feel free to take a look you around. Got, why are you at so expensive, my, my guy? Inventory. Okay, so uh, unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with two million pots. Uses, okay, so should I get that instead? I lost the baby conjure a potting table. Bruh, we'll, we'll come back to this shit. That's too much money. I only got like 10, I only got like 10K. We I wanna buy an outfit or something, bruh. Okay, so we need to visit the magic meat. So that's gonna be this icon. All right, tell me where to go, bird. Should I use Revelio while I'm walking? Revelio. It isn't just Thunderbird. I've done seen like a fucking thousand cutscenes before I started this fucking episode. Oh, God damn. oh there's a butt, there's a butt. I see the butt. Where's that book at?
Well, I'm hello here. there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then? That is me. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neap. What you sell I keep here? the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. Gotcha. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Okay. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. See, we, we got, we get Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, do I got enough money to buy well, that. that's everything. Better go and find this Sebastian. Is a one-time purchase. Yeah, sure. I got enough money for it. Okay, ooh, Revelio. Revelio. This crop belongs to Timothy Teas Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neap. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Search. Let me guess. You're after something no, fresh. I, I don't want to talk to you, bro. I'm good. I thought I was searching this. Okay. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This this may very well be your game of the fucking year. <laughs> Cause this game is that good. <laughs> God damn. The game really is that fucking good. That is crazy. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Here, 
here now, guys. Goodness. I a waited second over ten troll. goddamn hours Did to do that shit. Did you take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Yes. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? I'm good. We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Prepare of you. course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. You're welcome. Thanks, that's not good that. Alright, Reparo. Reparo. I know what you got. Oh, uh, hello there. A moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Okay, you got that, Sebastian. I gotta repair this. Shit. I did that. Good to see you. That's a lot. That's how strong we are. Oh sh D damn! Repair it. Okay. Alright, what else is to be repaired? One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. The last one. Oh, best officer! Rebellion. Alright, who ain't about to read that shit though? It's a lot of reading. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinary. Oh, you me, bro? I'd like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin, but I can offer you something What's you gonna much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Okay. Life-saving protections. Let me see it. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. Let me see what you got going on the inventory, my guy. Do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Okay, Plenty for you your perusal today. Take your time. That's going to be free. He's got some legendary equipment, though. I know how to equip gear. Why would you let me equip gear before I get to the tutorial for the shit? Bro, I already know how to do this shit. And that's weaker than what I got. Oh, dude, that's bigger than what I got on, bro. Okay, let's see what he's got, though. Now, keep in mind, though, and I already got the poultry coat. So some of the stuff I already got. Um, uh, I'm pretty much just buying for a cosmetic. So I can buy that. I could probably find some of this stuff, if I'm being honest. So we'll buy that. And this robe is actually better than what I got. But everything's better than what I got, so. I think that's all I want as far as cosmetics go. It's hard to see because you made me take off my gear. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. We did I'd get pulverized by a troll. You. Perfect. Three broomsticks is just this way. Okay, first off, even more battle. Let me fucking put back the shit you made me take off. Oh, I didn't take it off. Okay, perfect. Let me talk to his ass again then. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome yes, to come to my again. shop at your leisure. Okay, so give me this. Give me anything that's better than what I got. Me all that legendary gear, bro. Okay, 
so that's gonna be better than what I got. That's still good. That's better. Got a brand new scarf. Got a brand new robe. Okay, so we can destroy this. Destroy that. Destroy that. And then and we can destroy everything else. I have to destroy it because my inventory is like already full. So at least I get to keep the cosmetic from it. I don't know why they give us like so little inventory space. Ridiculous. And then we just gotta come here and, and take off whatever we don't want. Wait a minute. At the wrong button. It's okay, scarf. Be good to go. Got some ducats. I'm right here, Sebastian. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Copy that. Oh, it's you this said guy. you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? Yes, I of course so. they saw what was us, that dude. doing with Victor Rookwood? Anrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yeah, we need to go. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Why is it looking at me like that? Fucking midget? No, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. I appreciate that. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. Now why me? 
My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I want to get out of here, bro. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Oh, we'll be seeing you again, asshole. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Uh, I kind of got the feeling. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? Bro, I I I to know tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. We should. Man, it's a good thing I didn't have that other bitch here, Natty, because goddamn she would have got Currently run by Serona Ryan, and it literally as old as Hogsmeade itself. The Three Broomsticks is a long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. Let's get that fuck out of here. Thank you for those ducats. Got a school jumper. I'll say, guys, there's like items all over the fucking place. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Okay. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Okay. Okay, cause good, cause I don't know how to get to the common room anyway. Without teleporting there anyway. I'm glad it's bouncing. Because I would not know how to get... I, all the three hours I spent running around, guys, I did not know how to get back to the goddamn common room. <laughs> That's how big Hogwarts is. <laughs> but damn, I didn't know how to get anywhere. Oh, I got an owl! What's going on, bro? Look at that owl! Look at the graphics of that owl, though! What a big ass face! Rebellion. How do I interrupt with the owl? Hey, Al. Yes. I'm trying to read the fucking... Yeah, what do I got? Come and see me. I discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Let's go find the professor. Walk around this big ass school because I don't know how to get anywhere I've without this said fucking thing. Travel me. broadens the mind. I think that's a big. And I try to walk everywhere as much as possible just because I may miss some stuff. I'm still. I I feel like I've explored the whole school, but there's so uh, there's still stuff I can't get. <laughs> Every location has something that you might miss. So it's definitely best to just, as you do side quests, just pick up everything, reveal Rebellion. everything, and you're you're fine. Everything. Fig. 
Professor. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... It was after they me. were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Yep. Sir, about the goblins and Gringotts. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Ranrock and Rickwell want that locket. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the I map. I get to the library, though. I suspected Distracted you would see more. something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. Should we wait till but night time? if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. Okay. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book. But we should be prepared for anything. That sounds Once good you've to me. honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Okay. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Got it. Professor Hecate. Now, how far away are we from Professor Hecate's little thing? Okay, we're, we're, we're close. That's a heck of a right there. Professor Hackett, I need your help. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. It is urgent. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Okay. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Sounds good. You know where to find me once you've finished. Okay, win two rounds of cross wands. Complete Seems a round cross wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Okay, now where do I go for all that bullshit? Wait, you went upstairs. God damn. Handy resource indeed. You're... Okay, where did that butterfly go? I don't see the butterfly. Damn, it... where are you leading me then? This thing better be close. Got me running around everywhere, man. Mm -hmm. 
Glad you could make it. I'm here. Lucan's just over there. All right, thank you, Sebastian. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I did take him down a peg. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Um, uh, I'll draw your class. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. Right. So, care to step into the ring? Let's get to it. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. It's really threatening. Alright, break the yellow. Yes, I do know how to do that. Got it. Then bring up. Let me Sebastian. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope right. to see you back here again. I'm ready now. I need to do a quest. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Yep. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. Got it. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. What you mean, bro? I didn't get it. You looked good out there. Thank you. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. I'm going to use that combination. Okay, did we go to Professor Hector? Okay, I need to win one more crossed one. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Uh, let's go with Natty. Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? 
Not really. Apologies in advance. Oh, three against one. Okay. Put two bullet shields, like some of the Okay, yeah. Got it. Gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Yeah, you'll see me then when I get some more practice in. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. That's enough of that quest, though, right? Assignment's all finished. Teleport through. Okay, that's where we're going. Okay, yeah. So let me fucking teleport. So we get a chance to learn some freaking fire magic, finally. Oi! Can okay, you help I don't want to talk to this motherfucker. Run it. <laughs> where's, where's she at? Okay, I saw the book just now. Where's, I need to talk to Professor Hepton. Yeah. Locator on the map. Okay, that's where I am. I need to grab that butt. Grab the butt. Can you grab the butt that spawned around you? Hogwarts is a second hunt. Hey, beast cat. I'm scary looking motherfucker. Okay. She's right around the corner. I'm back. I finished all your tasks. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecket. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Focus. Y'all need to focus with me. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. I got it. I've been doing this shit all fucking day. You got it. I struggled the last time, guys. I've been doing this all day. Good work. Okay. To use a spell or item, must first add to your spell set. So. Got 
Okay, so I guess I had it right there. Incendio! Got it. Excellent defensive skills. Thank you. Maybe I'm returning to Professor Fid. to that library or not. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Yes. Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Damn. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Sebastian. Alright, so... Let's talk to Sebastian real fast. Where is he at, though? Go to a quest. Okay, I, I get that. Where is his ass up there? I would teleport if I could, but I don't know where the hell to teleport to. I'm gonna be halfway across the freaking Hogwarts. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Well, Jessica, how do we find him? Okay, I guess he's not far. I want to piss me off making me walk all over here. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the three broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I'm not entirely certain. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. I'll see you Thank tonight. you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Come on! Come on. Alright. Sebastian, I'm here at night. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. 
just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I got equip it though first, right? And we'll make that Lumos. Keep me silent as a grave. Now how long does this effect last though? Nearby adversaries will sense. Got it. That's the whole point of using that stuff, right? Let's go right up in there. Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn! You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? Yeah. The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Good idea. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust That's me. That's the bastard I'm starting to like you, my guy. Here it is. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? I <laughs> say, damn, I just like, how do you pronounce it? I just like she wasn't there. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Use basic cast while unattended to lower authority figures and enemies. Ghost, don't let her see you. Who am I looking at, bro? Fucking day? Ghost, don't let her see you. Where's that bitch at? Where's that bitch at? Oh, 
I would have been fast about the shit, I could have skipped all this bull crap. Should be in the clip. Okay. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're at. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. I know, Sebastian. I just can't tell you right now. Okay, which one is this? Let me open it. Exploring where they He's should have been. all over the place. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves! I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Don't get in trouble. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. <clears throat> Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Appreciate it, Sebastian. I got you. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? He's not a bad guy. I know just the spell to repair this armor. Uh, no. You need to put the repair rail back on. Repair it. Well, we're going deeper in here. Oh, we are getting into Of course. Stuff. Traces of ancient magic. Okay, we might need a blue mouse. Must be new. That's it. Lumos. We definitely need Lumos. <laughs> Where might this lead? Wake up that room over there. Ah, uh, I see that. Accio! Leviosa! Do I use the fire spell? Incendio! How do I... Now how do they expect me to wake up that fucking room now? Trying to figure that surprising. Out. Guards at the ready. Yeah, there's no goddamn guards. Okay, you about to get me clapped when I'm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gotcha. And then, yes, that's what I already. If I give me a tutorial after I already did the shit. This must be the way forward, but to where? about me. Harry Potter in a way with like Harry getting into all the secrets and then he's like dipping in, seeing the past and shit. So it's kind of like following the movie almost.
just trying to figure out in my head why is all that shit relevant. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. Rookwood. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. That I do believe. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Okay, so, because uh, we already wielded ancient magic against the troll and everything, so... I feel like it's been a long time since I've seen the movie, but it's basically the same shit that Harry was doing, right? Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Appreciate oh, Sebastian. Sebastian. What will your uncle <laughs> say? Now fuck you, peace. Where's the mother's bullshit happened in the first place? So, all right, guys, so we're going to end the episode here. It's a lot I got into, but yeah, I may do some more stuff off camera. I might wait and do the next episode when, like, something else big happens, I guess. So, whatever. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I will see you in the next one. You guys take it easy.